Okay, part five, Cindy. Okay, she's going to pick up on her dad and how she was sold into this Illuminati child pornography sex slave ring. I don't even know where to start. Your My dad, your dad dad was the evilest one of the my family. I mean, anything for money. But your dad, money. though, he had to sell you because they killed his brother and they were going to kill him too if he didn't sell you, right? He was forced to. My real dad, right before he died, said he was going to tell me my whole story. All the truth about my life. But he was told not to or he was going to be killed like his brother. Well, how, how was Kelly killed? He had been set up by Barbara Martin. My mother. From where was she from? She was from Long Beach, California. I had two birth certificates. I was born in two different hospitals. I was born in two different years. I was born under ne various names. That was all going to come out. But he had to let me go. He was forced to let me go. And he used to tell me, I love you, but I hate you. But it wasn't me he hated, it was her, because he had to make me like her. I had to be her. I had to, it was my job to, when she couldn't make the money anymore because of her looks or because of her age or her desire, when I was the man who chose me, she didn't like it. She hated me. She became jealous. Well, she always hated you from when you were three years old. She cutting off your fingers. Did she, you know she's still alive? No, I don't know if she's still alive or not. I've been waiting. That's and if she is still kept. alive, we're going to make sure she sees these videos. That's why I uh, kept from telling my story. Um, not so much that I'm scared, but because I want to make sure that any other innocent people get hurt. That's it. This is right the there. this is the deal. We're exposing names, okay? But those are the people that get to come out and be the heroes. You can choose. You come out, be the hero. All that shit you ever did, any of you, no matter what torture you've done, anybody, if you come out, stop doing it, and do the right thing. Say we don't want to do this anymore, and help to stop this. Then you will become the hero. You will not carry the shame and the blame, but you will be completely exposed. Your name, whoever you are, everything about you will be exposed for what you've done. And then when you say, okay, no, I don't want to do that anymore and do the right thing, it will be forgiven and forgotten. But if you do not choose to do the right thing and come out of this, if you do not choose to do the right thing, the universal spotlight will shine on you. I will catch you down with your pants down, your ankles, your ass in the air, the blood dripping from your fingers, your dicks, your cunts, and your lips. And everybody will see it. Everybody. If you do not do the right thing, Disney, family, Michael, Noel, Prescott, Tiffany, Hun, Holt, Gerald, Vidar. Okay, I'm sorry. It's your story again. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Well, the time went on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When I turned 13, I was in such a state that the school started noticing that there was something definitely wrong with me. I was gotten fights daily. I was a bully. I would hurt innocent. But girls. were they still giving you drugs though? Like oh gosh, yes. I just, they were shooting you up with methamphetamine and stuff. Once a week, I went in and got a shot of meth, and I was strung out. I mean, I was totally a stone-cold drug addict from birth. I, I couldn't function without a drug. I didn't know who I was, I didn't, and then there was a drug I was given. Phenobarbital, so that was the phenobarbital, right? Phenobarbital is a truth, a truth drug. But they found out by giving me that, I was going to tell the truth. <laughs> I was going to let my story be known. But wasn't so, that supposed to make you where you're awake and then you do stuff and you fall asleep and you don't remember what you did? It's like remember. the date rape. Is that like the date rape drug? Yes. But with you, it was come out like the truth drug? Yes. 
Rivers See, coming out the tree. She's like yeah. Trinity. She, Trinity's done the same thing. Trinity's trying to break out right now. And Troy Regis and the Hells Angels, you guys got to help her. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So because the started being noticeable in school, um, we moved a lot. We had to always keep moving to different schools. Well, yeah, the authorities kind of got suspicious. Now, why is this child always being pulled out of school? Why is she always sick? Well, at the time, I was being beaten with a razor strap. And then when you would try to tell the police or whatever, they would call you crazy and make... It the police were usually the ones that knew my stepfather. So and when I went to them, it was like... They started putting you in mental institutions and stuff because you... I was put in a mental institution. I lived Because in you tried to tell people, right? From the time I was nine until I was 16, I was in and out of juvenile hall. I was in Civil War and Women's Institution. I was in a straight jacket, put in a padded room with chains. For Treated doing like what? A, For doing nothing except trying to tell the truth. This is why so many people are stuck in this, is because if they don't conform and do that stuff or become that way, then they get institutionalized, put in jail, killed, tortured. They do that. That's. She, okay, go. I'm sorry. They um, would try to make me forget anything that happened to me in my life and try to make it where it was just a dream. They would call you crazy, tell you you're crazy. They told me I was crazy. And then put you on more drugs. Yeah. Definitely more drugs every day. And right now with them, I mean you name any drug on the market, they shoved it down my throat. And that's what they're doing with Ritalin even on little children now, the Ritalin they're giving kids. Okay, go yeah. on. Yeah. Well I talked to you at 16 years old, well at 13 I was in uh, what they call continuation school. It's a place where kids that are out of control or... But weren't they, they, were they selling you to parties though? The Masons and the gestures and stuff? Didn't they have you dancing on tables and stuff? And Yeah. What, did you stop doing it or stop cooperating? Or That's when I was younger. That's when I was little. I was supposed to be a, like Shirley Temple. Um, I made records. I sing songs. There was a Cindy Lou Productions uh, after me. Really? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and if, the girl, if, you got, if you got picked, then your family got the most money, right? So that's why they made you wear the back board on your back and yes, keep you thin. Because if you, they picked you, to, if they their child got picked, then they're the ones that got paid. Yes. And these are all parts of secret societies that are like inter. And every time there was a convention in town, I was taken to it. And along with some other girls, we would line up. Where did they take you to? Different motels. Motels or hotels? And some houses. Like nice hotels or dumps? Nice. Nice ones? Nice. Very nice. Room service. So these would be like public like events that were advertised and everything, like conventions for, for Masons or Shriners? No, no. No names were mentioned. There was just convention in town, and certain people would know by a certain, like, sign, a li just a little word in the ad of a convention. Or they like a, or like the Mason symbol? Like the, the symbol. The, That's it right there. That goes like the... They would know who was in town. What was needed? What, what there Just by a little symbol on the pamphlet? Yep. They yeah. still do that, I wonder. I think they do. I believe they do. I should check out some of the conventions here in Vegas. We should start checking and seeing what they got going on here. So bust in. It was for upper white class Anglo sex. You know what? Children. That's what we're people. Oh, that's what, well, let's do that. Let's go start finding those pamphlets and find out where these conventions are and then let's go bust in. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. Okay. A lot mm -hmm. of them took I'm place get here them. in uh, Las Vegas. Get them. A lot of them were in Las Vegas because Las Vegas at that time was a lot of mafia. A lot of things in families aren't told. The family keeps their mouth shut. And that's how the Masons were, that's how this circle of people were. Our time we be up, so I will try not to be talking so much next time. My mouth just gets me so much I can't shut up. I hope I think the mafia is going to come down. The safe spotlight is the safest place to be. Trust me. Because when you shine the light on these people and they're going to come try to do something, they ain't going to be able to because 
throw under the spotlight and it shines bright and it's going to shine brighter hiding in secrecy and keeping quiet anymore that's not where you're safe you're safe in the light the spotlight you do the right thing you tell your story ain't nobody going to hurt you well nobody will touch you you have to put these people in the spotlight though you have to name them you have to tell everything you know and then you will be safe if you don't you won't and you'll never get out